do a roll camera. I'm an independent filmmaker. I make uh, documentary films. Uh, I've also made a feature film, but uh, documentaries are what I do. I run a film company called uh, White Crane Films, along with my uh, partner and wife uh, Ritu, and we've been running this company for almost 20 years now. Film is one of the most powerful uh, medium of telling a story through pictures. With films, you can actually impact the way people see the world around them. You can actually make a difference. You can, uh, you can, you have a sense of fulfillment. You know that uh, you have been able to uh, contribute something to the larger, uh, you know, knowledge and uh, awareness of the world around us. The filmmaking process, uh, you could, you know, uh, you could really divide it into, you know, a number of stages. Uh, the first stage is when you conceive of an idea and when you uh, research it, when you, uh, you know, uh, write a treatment or a proposal. Uh, that's the first stage, and that's always an enjoyable stage. But then comes like the tough part because you've got this story, you've got this idea. Now you need uh, some financial backing. You've got to raise the money. Now say you've raised some money and you can go ahead uh, and start shooting the film. That's again a very exciting part of uh, the filmmaking process because uh, that's when you actually, all these ideas you had in your head, you see them now, uh, you know, you're actually like putting them on, you know, tape or on film or on your disc and they're becoming real. Then you have to edit the film. Uh, it's an exciting process because you're actually like you know, putting your material together and a story is emerging from that material that you've shot. But then, you know, the film is made, uh, if you're lucky, it gets a good reception, you feel really thrilled, uh, you know, people get to see it, uh, you get their feedback. That's, you know, that can be an exciting uh, time of the filmmaking process. Uh, when I was growing up, you know, the whole idea of uh, making films was just something so completely outside your imagination. You could, you could never even dream of doing something like that. So I wanted to be a writer, which uh, already was uh, quite uh, a kind of a bold choice, I think, uh, when I was growing up. So I went to journalism school to become a journalist. Uh, this was in America at uh, the University of California in Berkeley. And when I was there, I discovered something called broadcast journalism, which I could also, uh, you know, take classes in. And broadcast journalism allowed me to make documentaries. And suddenly I discovered that I actually enjoyed this whole um, form of telling a story through pictures and, you know, uh, editing it together. It, it kind of suddenly seemed very appealing to me. And, uh, you know, even though I started out wanting to be a writer, I ended up uh, finishing uh, the degree in broadcast journalism. And that's what kind of set me on my path to becoming an independent filmmaker. I think today it's become much easier for young people to 
opt for filmmaking as a career because uh, it's all around us now. You know, filmmaking isn't such a mysterious activity anymore. Uh, you can go to film school, you can uh, get into the, the industry. So it's something that's much more accessible now. To be a documentary filmmaker, you need to have an open mind, you need to be curious about the world, you need to be dying to tell stories. Uh, I mean, these are qualities that uh, you have to have because if you don't have that uh, desire to tell a story, to communicate a story to an audience, you can't become a filmmaker. The whole film media is like stronger than it ever was. So it's a media that we need to really, you know, take advantage of. Uh, and in this regard, if you look at, say, films made about Tibet, uh, even in the exile kind of world, most of the films made about Tibet have been made by outsiders. You know, there are very few uh, films where Tibetans have made their own film, have told their own stories. And that, I think, is something that's really uh, missing and that's something that's really important. So. I always encourage Tibetans to think about filmmaking as something that they should get into. And I really encourage you, if you have any kind of interest in this medium, do it, you know, go for it. But don't expect it to be an easy ride. Don't get kind of fooled by the glamour aspect of it. Uh, it's not a glamorous profession. It's a lot of really hard work. And lastly, I have to say, uh, don't go for shortcuts.